So they say that Christmas Eve is too late to do Christmas shopping. So that is why I went to get my car washed instead. And I've pulled up into the place and uh, the guy comes over to a window and he's like, what, what is it you want, sir? Do you want to uh, in and out to keep it uh, done for the holidays? I don't know what that accent was, but you get the point. And then, I'm, what's he doing there, though? He's selling, isn't he? So anyway, I did that. I left them with my car and I went into the shop. And um, when I was in the shop, I went to the counter. And then this guy starts offering me other things. Like, you want to take some of these sweets home, some of these chewies? What's he doing there? He's selling. Now, the thing is, selling is everywhere now only some of us admit it and the funny thing is there's people who say yep yeah, directly in selling or i'm say i'm in sales or whatever it might be or what some people do they're in sales but what they say is i am an account manager or i am i don't know what names they come up relationship manager and all these things the thing is you're selling everybody is selling it's just our perception of what the word selling and marketing means. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like attracting. So marketing is attracting and selling is persuading. So like then there's, you've got a whole other bunch of people that say, no, selling has nothing to do with me. They're sleazy, you know, people. Uh, I don't need to sell. I don't even need money. Money doesn't interest me. I just want to be happy. I just want to be with my family. Being with my family is the most important thing, which is great and fantastic. But when you're with your family, what are you also doing? selling because you've got to sell your children and if you don't by the way they've got a sale of their own that they will pound you with every single day but you need to sell them on what's good for them what's good for them nutritionally what's good for them to spend their time on you've got to sell to them that it's not always good to watch tv or play on computer games you've got to sell to them that you need to give your best and give it your all you need to sell to them to use their manners be polite to people and always go that extra mile that's selling and the more effective you are at selling them the better they will become as human beings and then by them being around you being that way then naturally they will be better and it's all about getting what we want but we associate getting what we want meaning it has to be taken away from someone else which is not true because if you have got some kind of antidote or medicine or some program or, or something that is going to benefit that other person then it is your duty to attract the people that that need this, that are already looking for you. So there's some people who are directly looking for you, but then there's other people who they don't know that they have this issue or they don't even know that there's a solution to the issue. Sometimes they just think, oh, that's the way it is. You know, I, I scrimp and scrape by just to pay my bills every month because that's the way it is. So they don't even know there's a solution out there to be better, being more effective at selling and persuading people. They don't even know there's a different thing. And, and they might say, well, my job, it doesn't involve selling because, you know, I'm just in the office or I'm just behind the counter. Then trust me, I promise you, there is not one position out there that doesn't involve selling. Because the, at the very minimum, you've got to sell yourself. And the people who are, are, are more effective at selling, the, trust me, the first thing they're doing is selling themselves. They're selling themselves on that they need to be doing this, why they need to be doing this, uh, and all the rest of it. So no matter what angle you come from, selling is needed. And selling you need to pay attention to. And we can do it in such a great ethical way that we... Because remember, selling is helping. Selling is leading. Selling is you know, teaching, selling is doing, matching people up to like what problem or challenge they have, matching them up to the solution. It doesn't always have to be your solution. And that's where so many people get it wrong. They just want to shove whatever they have down their throat or, or like, let's say you have a workout, for example, and you do a workout a certain way. Well, all of a sudden that person starts shoving that workout down everyone's throat. Now, okay, the person they're trying to tell might need to work out, but it's not necessarily that workout that's relevant for that person. It might be a different type of workout. It might be, you know, yoga, for example, rather than go blasting heavy weights in the gym. So what I'm saying is everyone's got a sale to make and it's your duty and your responsibility to do so because everybody knows something that can help someone else. I don't care what it is, even if it's small, mind you, everybody knows something. So it's your duty to help and persuade people to take action on the things you know can help them. So Merry, Merry Christmas. I'm looking forward to a fantastic new year with as many of you as possible who want to come on this journey with me where we go and change the perception the world has on sales so we can all 
come a lot closer and tie it together and work together and help each other out and bring sales to life and bring the life into sales as well. So Merry Christmas guys and we'll see you all again soon.